Jesus. Amen and amen. Thank you, Corvo. Thank you so much for calling. Thank you so much, and God bless you. God bless you, too. Uh, Brandon in Brampton, and we'll get to Carol in Toronto and Ryan in Oakville in just a moment. Just hang on. Thank you so much for waiting. We really appreciate it. But Brandon in, in Brampton, welcome. Hi. Hi. How are you today? I'm great. And you? Um, I'm good. I'm good. Um, what I wanted to say actually was um, I'm a pastor. Of, yes. uh, I'm a pastor actually in Brampton. Yes. And um, I actually... See, I'm a, I'm a very religious person. I believe in God and everything, you know. Yes. God, but I just lately the, the only hope I've had is smoking marijuana. It's like the only hope, and it's and the thing that I feel is not that bad because as long as you keep it marijuana, yes, it won't go beyond that, right? I feel like it's safe and it's fine to do, and I think it's over read over over exaggerated on how pe um, the religion everyone looks at it. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah, okay. Why do you use it? Well, you know, have you have you ever read the Bi have you ever read the Bible while you're while you're on marijuana? No. Can no, never. Uh, well, why do you use it? Because it's beautiful. It is. What? What's beautiful? What makes it beautiful? You mean the word of God? No, you're a pastor. I'm a very proud pastor. Okay. You're a, uh, is, it a, is it a pastor of the gospel of Jesus Christ? Yeah. You're a born-again Christian. I'm a born-again Christian, baby. Okay. So, you, what you're saying is that you need something else other than the Word of God. It's not enough. I, I, well, well, what they call the Word of God obviously is not enough, but I still believe in it. So well, what do you, oh, what do you believe, may I ask? I, I, be I believe in everything you believe, sir. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. No. How do you? Well, because I believe that the Word of God is powerful and effective, sharper than any double-edged sword. It is able to divide soul and spirit, joint and marrow, and it's able to go down in the deepest recesses of your heart. That's what I believe. That's what I believe, too. I need, I don't, then why do you need marijuana? Because I still need that. See, I believe everything you believe. No, you don't. We don't believe the same things. You, you see, I believe in a God that has given us a name that's above every name. That at the name of Jesus, every other name must bow. But you're saying to me that the Word of God is not enough. Jesus Christ dying on the cross for you, as you said, you're a pastor. Jesus Christ dying on the cross for you. That is not enough. When he said, it is finished, you're saying it's not enough. What I'm saying is... How could you say that? Okay, what how I'm could you say? How could you hold it out as a pastor and say, I need something else? In other words, the death of Jesus Christ is not enough. What I'm saying is that at my, at my, at my sermons that I, that I perform at, like that I tell people that come to my church, I tell them, that is not a what's called Jesus Christ yes was sacrificed for us, right? But it does not make him the most powerful human being in the world. It doesn't make him the most powerful human being in the world. Is that what you say? It's overrated. I, I, tomorrow I could be crucified. I, I, are you going to be uh, uh, praying for me tomorrow? Praying for me in the next couple hundred years? You know what? Uh, thank you so much for calling. I thank you so much for calling. God is so good. God is so good. Carol in Toronto, and we, we get to um, Ryan and then Angela from Manitoba shortly. Uh, uh, Carol in Toronto, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Uh, I kind of just sense that other caller was just so far but you know what let's just pray for him yeah um, I'm just calling